we got a little bit of a later start, but that's okay. Uh, we are slowly getting to the end of August. So August fishing, it can be real good. It's, it's very weather related. Uh, we got a little bit of a wind today. We got definitely good, good conditions as far as it's nice and cool out here. We got a break from that summer heat. Uh, what do you do on days like today? It, you start off the day knowing that this time of year is rough and you thank the Lord for everything that you can get. But you use a little different baits. We're going to use some of those today. Hopefully, Lord willing, the Lord will bless us and help us catch a few little ones. Um, that's just what we do. We try our best to go through here and... Um, like I said, expecting that the day's going to be a little bit slower sometimes makes you slow down right off the bat. So, I'm still going to throw crankbaits and stuff for a little bit, but I'm going to throw a little bit smaller crankbait that's usually what I like throwing in the fall. Um, so, let's just go fish and thank the Lord for the beautiful day. We've already been blessed. We've seen that deer and those little baby twins she had. So, let's just go enjoy the day and Lord blesses us with a few little fish, then that's an extra blessing. God bless you all. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for sharing them. Thank you for all the support. Appreciate all your prayers. Let's go fishing. There's one. There's one. Oh, oh, he barely got it. Come on, come on. Hey, got me one. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There's one. There's one. There's one right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Pretty. So, setup I'm using today to throw this little hickster is a little bit different. So this is a little 5 sixteenths, and, and I don't have, I mean, you all seen me catch quite a few fish on that other rod that I was using, that St. Croix Legend Glass. Um, problem is, is after hours and hours and hours of throwing it, that rod kind of is starting to wear on my shoulders, just where it's a little heavier, because it's, it's a, literally a fiberglass rod. Um, so I've opted to use it for my bigger square bills and for these smaller, in my opinion, more finesse type low crankbaits, uh, which don't let it fool you. These right here catch a lot of bigger fish. Um, I went up there to cane pole the other day and uh, Elbert set me up with a, uh, this is a Falcon rod. Uh, this is a Kara and this is a, it's a seven foot cranker and it's a cc417 it's actions medium and it has that uh bend to it kind of like a um, fiberglass rod but it is a um, graphite rod but i'm gonna tell you what it's it's handled so far today which i haven't caught anything big 
but um, it's handled these little fish pretty good today. It's very sensitive. Um, the one thing that stood out to me is the guides on it are very high quality guides. Uh, they're Fuji guides. Uh, it has on this rod right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. There's 13 guides on that rod, which you'd say, well, why is that important? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. It lets that line glide so much easier through that rod that I would have never dreamed it. And uh, I do have this set up on a little bit different. These are going to be more of my uh, finesse type setups. I've already started to gear up a little bit towards fall and winter. Uh, because especially when I throw these, I'll throw these. I have these on a, this is 12 pound test. Um, Seaguar Abrazex, which is a little bit more expensive line, but it has a little bit thicker coating on it. Uh, I figured where I was going to 12 and I plan on using this quite a bit like at places like Cumberland and stuff like that. So around those rocks and stuff, I wanted that extra abrasion resistance. But I, I'm telling you what, so far, I'm pretty impressed with this little Kara rod. This is my first experience with the Falcon. Pretty, pretty impressed with it. It's super soft, uh, it's super soft action, which is what you need, but it still has backbone. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you can see when I was bending that rod, it's got cork handle. Um, another thing that's pretty interesting about this rod is the way that the, uh, this little reel seat right here is pretty comfortable. You can feel down through it right there and this little cap right here that tightens up it doesn't have those little ribs like most of them so if you're one of those guys that put your finger underneath here it's very comfortable um just just very well put together rod um you need to go down there to cane pole in richmond and uh ask elbert about them i don't know if he has any more on the shelf right now but i'm sure he can get them for you if you need them so god bless you all let's get back to fishing for just a little bit and see what else the lord blesses us with That's what we got here. Hadley Bill Bass. <laughs> oh, look at that. Son, you have got, there we go. Thank you, Jesus, for all of them. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Another 1.5. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Best fisherman on the lake right there. Here. Yeah, 
This is a good one here. Here uh, we go. Not as big as I thought, but still fun. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, that's fun. That's on a new little bait I've been trying out. That's that black label, but that is the uh, 1.5. A lot of fun. Pretty good little bait. Well, I'm headed back in for the day. Uh, fun little trip. Only a couple hours. I think I've been out here maybe about three and a half hours. Uh, pretty fun day. It's that time of year where they just kind of nipping at the bait. Uh, whatever bait you throw, it doesn't matter. I mean, if a man threw a Ned rig, it'd be a little bit better as far as sometimes they'll take it a little bit. But in my experience, this time of year, it's just, it's hard getting a bite, period. Um, but my first experience with that little falcon rod, uh, fun little rod. I, for three and a half hours out here throwing that little crane bait and I've covered quite a bit of water My shoulders aren't bothering me. I really don't feel like other than the excitement that I had when I caught those little fish <laughs> Which to me is always exciting. I don't it don't matter to me if they're You know three or four pounds or six seven inches. I mean don't get me wrong. I love catching those bigger fish um, I'm sure everybody can hear it when I start laughing but it's exciting even to catch those little ones, you know. It's just fun to get out in Lord's creation. I didn't get a good video of it, but there was an eagle out here at the lake flying around. Seen all kinds of little birds. And uh, that's just a blessing to go out and enjoy the Lord's creation. So, if you're interested in those little rods, like I said before, uh, Richmond Cane Pole, just talk to Elbert. He'll, uh, he'll set you up. He may have to order whatever size you're wanting. I don't know how many they have or which ones they have at the moment, but I'm sure they'll take care of you. They've taken care of me for years. So anyway, thank you all for watching the videos. Thank you all for all the comments and everything everybody does for me. Uh, anybody that has questions, message me. I'll try to try my best. I also put to use that new, uh, it's new to me, that little black label. That's their version of the, or Cliff's version of the 1.5. Man, it's it's fun little bait to use. I mean, I had a couple slam it. Um, anyway, God bless you all. Don't forget, Jesus loves you. Y'all have a great day.